Well, we are now indeed joined by the Chinese ambassador to London, Liu Xuming. Thank you very much for coming in, Ambassador. Thank you for having uh, me. First of all, um, real escalation tonight, more people wearing face masks. Are you shocked at the defiance? Uh, no, not at all. I think the ban is timely and necessary. The purpose of this face ban is to uh, stop the violence, to restore order and to, to deter further violence. But it hasn't worked tonight. No, I, I think it's still too early to tell. You know, it's uh, just a few hours and uh, we'll see uh, uh, the, you know, it's too early to tell the result of this ban. I think the, uh, the special administration government is determined but to it, stop violence and it hasn't order. been able to do it hasn't been able to restore order so far and the ban has had it seems it has had the impact of saying to people you know we're not going to stand for this we're going to come out we're going to wear our face masks and we're not going to be told what to do um, I think you really need to separate peace demonstrators from diehard radicals I think the uh, the uh, special administration government decided to introduce ban because the situation has but the escalated to a dangerous level. So that's according to our chief uh, executive. It's a time to induce the ban. Has uh, Carrie Lam lost control? I don't think so. I think uh, he, uh, the situation is still under control. And we have it doesn't look part. like it's under control, no, Ambassador. No, no. I mean, uh, there was a child shot in the uh, he lost tonight. the control, how could he try to introduce this ban. But the problem is that the, you know, the police are firing live rounds. A young boy had a, you know, a, a shot in the leg tonight. We've seen shooting before. It, this is not the look of an authority in control. The reason why police sh uh, shot is because their lives are in serious threat. To quote, let me quote the, uh, how you British police handle this situation. Mm -hmm. Accord, I quote, according to Simon, uh, Shetterman, the chief constable of, of British police, armed police officers are highly trained to shoot, to neutralise the threat in order to protect the public. And but the public are, are on like, the streets. Is the public themselves that are on the street? And I wonder no, if Beijing police, uh, still has... Do you still have confidence in Carrie Full confidence in Carrie yes, Lam? Yes, I can say it in a very relative term. So... Uh, you heard Gabriel Gatehouse saying there uh, that a Reuters report is that uh, the PAP, which is uh, the P it's called the People's Armed Police, directly under, co uh, under control of Xi Jinping, have already had 3,000 to 5,000 paramilitary police in. Now it's between 10 to 12,000. Is that correct? And will you keep putting more paramilitaries in if you don't think Carrie Lam can deal with this? Um, we certainly hope the situation uh, will improve. But we have to prepare for the worst. So as are I there 12,000 in just now? I, as I said uh, during my press conference, if the situation in Hong Kong become uh, 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 uncontrollable by Hong Kong government, mm -hmm. the central government will not sit on their but, hand and watch. I still stand by will, my statement. Yeah, but what will you do? Because the Reuters report says there are 12, 10 to 12,000 paramilitaries in just now. That's a doubling of what there was. Can you confirm that, first of all? Uh, I would say I, I have no specific information on specific force deployment. But it's not for me to confirm. No. But I, the thing I can confirm is the situation is still under control. But and is, we have a full trust of a Hong Kong government and say, also chief but, executive. But you say that you know, there'll come a point, and you know, if over this weekend... There are more demonstrations, thousands and thousands in the street. There'll come a point where you are. I think you should give a time a for chief executive to implement the ban. But I think will, it's you put more, to but will you put more conclusion. troops in if you have to? If the situation becomes uncontrollable, we certainly will not sit on our hands and watch. But it, Just as uh, chief executive said, he, her uh, administration would not allow the situation but getting cannot, worse and worse. You cannot. I mean, the thing is. You cannot lock up the whole of Hong Kong, and indeed, the protests are covering the whole of I Hong Kong. I have a confidence in the Hong Kong government. I believe this ban will help mm. to improve the situation. And I hope the majority of Hong Kong people will respond to the efforts made by the special administration but to how, communicate it, with but, them. But it's been going on all summer. How long will you give? If, if Carrie Lam is, is still at Christmas battling protesters, 
Are you not going to do something I about it then? I think I, if you compare the situation now and with the situation a few months yeah. ago, I think things improved somewhat after Caroline withdrew uh, the bill. You, I think the problem with your British media, or Western media as a whole, is that you only focus on the writers, only focus but on the We're focusing uh, on violence. what we see on the streets. And I wonder if Carrie Lam will and would she have would you have would she have your backing if she had to withdraw this ban in order to restore peace? I think she will she will be determined to implement the ban. Well, here we go. And we certainly number one, we respect Caroline and her administration, and we we understand her decision, and we show our support to her decision, and but, we have a full trust in her administration to handle the situation. Ambassador, you hear Hong Kongers say they feel they're fighting for their lives because what they think is that they look at the way that you are dealing with the Uyghurs on the mainland, the re-education camps or whatever, and they think this is what lies ahead for them. You know, whether it's 2047 no, or where it is. No, I think this is a made-up story by your media. You know, no, comparing how, how is it made with up? Vega, no, Vega, you know, what is you are ta uh, talking about is the, the, the training education center. Re-education. Training, vocational training and education center in Xinjiang. That is for the prevention of terrorism. So you Since this measure introduced in Xinjiang, yeah. there's no single terrorist cases the, in the past yeah. three years. But and before that, for 20 years, there are thousands of terrorist what, activities. But, we haven't seen any covering okay. by BBC, by any Western media. But, but Where ambassador, are you? Where are you then? Tell me. Ambassador, Ambassador, um, as you said, you put in anti-terrorist forces to deal with the Ouija. These paramilitaries, not, these paramilitaries that are in Hong Kong are of the same stripe. Not Will, in Hong Kong. You are, you're, you're missed up things. You know, they are in inside China. Hong Kong is a Hong Kong police handling the situation. But we know that there are paramilitaries under Xi Jinping in Hong Kong at the moment, and according to Reuters, they all. are increasing. No. No. So my, my point is that people fear for their lives. They feel this is the only alternative they have, because what they want is they want Carrie Lam gone, they want a, a, an inquiry into the police uh, brutality, and they also want universal suffrage. Are they ever going to get universal suffrage? The government has reaffirmed our commitment for one country, two systems. President Xi Jinping repeat this commitment right before, on the eve of Chinese National Day, that we are committed to one country, two systems, and let Hong Kong people administering Hong Kong affairs, and Hong Kong will continue to enjoy high degree autonomy. That's a, that's a very firm commitment. So it is Yet, that a commitment that the, the mainland Chinese government will never step in and take over in Hong Kong, ever? That commitment has been made for the 50 years, and the policy will remain for the 50 years, and we are committed to it. Thank you very much, Ambassador.